this video we'll be looking at the predator and prey relationships, which can be summarized with this graph. So in this graph, we've got the prey and predator uh, population size shown on the same graph. The blue line represents the population size of the prey, so the organism or the, or the species that is being eaten. And then the red line to show the predator uh, population size, which is the organism or the species that is hunting and eating the, the prey. So we'll split them up into these four stages and, and we will try to describe and explain for them. It is important to remember, keep in mind a few things. Number one is uh, when you're describing them, make sure you're stating how is the population size of the prey or the predator changing. And, and then secondly, what does it mean? And then thirdly, how does it affect the other uh, population size? So largely split into three separate points in terms of the explanation bit or the description bit. So it's important to remember the phrase survive and reproduce, so it's always about how more of those uh, prey or predator can survive and reproduce or less of them can survive and reproduce. So we always use this in terms of our explanation. In the first stage, you can see that the prey population is increasing, as shown in the curve here. So an increase in the population of the prey, that means more food will be available for the predators. Therefore, more of the predator can survive and reproduce. Therefore, the predator population would increase after some time. So as it goes up, then this one also, the predator uh, curve also goes up eventually. And as the predator population increase, so that's kind of following up, and the next point, stage two. So as the predator population increase, more prey would then get, uh, would be eaten. So therefore less prey can survive and produce. Therefore the prey population would decrease. So as you can see in the graph, the prey population decreases as the predator population increase there. And then the third stage, as there is less prey uh, available, that means less food available for the predators. Therefore the predator population would decrease as well because less predator can survive and produce due to the loss of food source. And then finally, the last point, because there is less, there are less predators uh, there hunting them, so therefore less prey gets eaten, therefore the prey population would increase once more, as shown in stage four. As prey, predator population decrease, uh, less prey gets eaten, the prey population can increase massively again. So as you can see, the population sizes of the prey and the predator follow each other. They show the same trend and the same pattern. And that is the predator and prey relationship.